Jay Cuddington here at Discover 2015 in London, and I'm here with Colby Dice. And I understand that you can help me take my AWS Cloud private. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, we're talking about uh, eucalyptus or he uh, HPE Helion uh, eucalyptus. Uh, eucalyptus is an open source implementation of Amazon Web Services. So we, uh, we're helping those customers who are already uh, adopting Amazon and they need to take their application back in-house or into a, a private environment uh, for any number of reasons. But uh, it's a very easy thing for them to do because this eucalyptus software looks and acts just like uh, Amazon. How does that work? Because I thought Amazon was uh, fairly proprietary about their implementation. Amazon is uh, very proprietary about their uh, implementation. Um, so what we're what we've done is we've uh, taken a look at the uh, API, we know exactly what that looks like, we know how it's supposed to behave, and we implement the software behind it, so it'll look and act just like uh, Amazon. In fact, when we test it, we test it uh, against Amazon, and then we compare that against our own software, and if our own software doesn't behave like Amazon, it's a bug, so we fix it. Because our customers expect that their private cloud, their eucalyptus private cloud, will be exactly like their Amazon private cloud. They need an easy mechanism for um, uh, getting out of Amazon, and also, in fact, for moving into Amazon. So you could use eucalyptus as an on-ramp, and a lot of people do that. So, so this could almost be like I could stand up my own region that would compete with the Amazon regions within my own uh, sort of sphere of yeah, yeah that, that's totally true. Um, although I think I wouldn't say necessarily compete because that's not really the objective here. Uh, businesses businesses have very good reasons for adopting Amazon Web Services, uh, and they also have very good reasons for bringing applications uh, back into the private cloud. It could be about security, right? Maybe they need to have their customer data in a particular region in a in a geography that Amazon doesn't have a region, right? So it could be things like like that. Uh, so we don't want to compete with it so much as just address the customer problem that exists where those customers want to continue using the Amazon uh, design patterns, the Amazon APIs, and they just need to have that in a private cloud. So to your point about it being a private region, it is in fact exactly like a private region. Yeah. So, and, and how easy is this for somebody to deploy? Because I know um, OpenStack being something that seems like it would be somewhat competitive to this is a bit challenging for many people to deploy. Is, yeah. this, is this easy? Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's ridiculously easy. Uh, so, in fact, you could go to our website, you go to hpe.com uh, slash Helion, and when you go to the Eucalyptus page, there's a little Get Started button. Uh, you just fill out the little form there, and it'll give you the, the sheet that tells you exactly how you do the install. In fact, the install is a single command line. It's um, something you run on a CentOS 6.6 box, one command line, and you'll have a, a full featured cloud in under 10 minutes. And this scales out from one to however many well, uh, it could be one little machine, or it could go up to 100,000 cores. It's, in fact, what Nokia is doing today. They run a tremendous amount of um, uh, compute and uh, a tremendous amount of storage on their eucalyptus clouds, uh, that now managing over 100, almost 100,000 cores. So it wow. does definitely scale. And so, I mean, that, that's one customer example. Are there, are there lots of customers using this? At that scale, no, because that's, um, that's pretty heavy duty. I think what we're seeing is for the really large organizations, uh, they're just still trying to get their head around cloud, right? And so they're, they're adopting it in a, in a cautious manner. Now, we, we do have plenty of customers who are, um, uh, let's say, much larger than single boxes, right? They were talking about like 20 nodes, 40 nodes, things like that. It's a very typical size. It's a really good size because you can get started, you can grow into that. Um, uh, but something gigantic, uh, it'll take time to, to get there. Uh, folks need to make sure that they understand cloud, they adopt it well, and they build the right practices. Uh, you know, if you're going to take applications into the public cloud, you want to get those practices down now, and you can do that in a private cloud. So this is what we're seeing for most of the modern sized clouds. Folks just trying to understand how to get to cloud and then successfully move that into the public cloud if that's where they want to go. And so you've mentioned that this is um, an open source solution. So is, is the, the HP play in this that it's a, a services model where you help people deploy, or, or how does that work? Yeah, it's exactly that. Uh, it's like a lot of other open source projects, right? Uh, so anybody can download the, the, the software, install, run it, and that's all free. Go ahead and do that. Uh, our customers tend to uh, look for production level support. And that's what HPE provides for them. We also have advisory services, so if you want to uh, deploy, tune, customize your cloud, we can help you with that. We can also help you with uh, application transformation, so take a traditional application and get that to be cloud ready and deploy that onto uh, Eucalyptus. Very cool. Thanks, Colby. Yeah, thank you.